Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at Dead by Daylight on the Xbox One. Now I played Friday the 13th, which is a pretty similar type game where you're either playing as Jason trying to hunt down the camp counselors or you're a camp counselor trying to survive against Jason. So similar sort of idea, probably heavily inspired where this game originally came from, but that game got kind of caught up in a lawsuit. It's a long story. This one, on the other hand, has tied in with a bunch of different IPs to do some really interesting things. But again, I've never played it before. So I'm going to jump in as a survivor. And I do have the complete blind experience since I don't know what I'm getting myself into. So that's for a friend. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to say ready. and just look for a match. Hopefully we find somebody before it takes too long. Oh, I see. It was waiting on me to push the Y button to say ready again. But now it's still somebody else who's not ready, so at least it wasn't just me. Again, I've seen a little bit of footage of this game, but I haven't played it myself. I do know that it had a DLC, or I guess an extra skin purchase that you could get for Stranger Things, where you could be the, the monster chasing around people, though... I, I don't know the specifics of it. With the Friday the 13th game, it was so heavily tied into the lore. And with this one, I I don't know if Dead by Daylight was directly inspired by anything, or just kind of... Uh oh Well, I didn't grab one. If I was supposed to make a choice there, I didn't. Okay. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be more complicated than I'm ready for, but yeah, that's half the fun. Just jumping into it brand new. Any time now. So the previous message said that if you're too gravely injured, you can't fully recover unless you have a skill for it or someone else has a skill to help you. And this one says when you are injured, you can recover if you have a med kit. So I'm guessing there's there's slightly injured, really, really badly injured. I'm guessing there's some kind of staggered system to it. Oh, good. Is there a brightness? I can't see anything. Oh, good. Well, we'll just stumble around in the dark a little bit. looking at. Ah! 
But we are not doing great, are we? Well, I ran in here because I thought there was someone to help, and then the only prompt I had was hide. Well, that's definitely not getting me anywhere. I'd love to be able to help you guys, but I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, I had something. I was trying to help you. Or something. Oh, the monster. That's exciting. I don't know how to run. <laughs> That's kind of a problem. It definitely seems like a kind of game where playing with friends would make a big difference, but also knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. I thought there'd be a little bit more guidance, you know, objectives I need to complete or items I need to look for, but... first aid kit, I just don't know how to use it. Oh, somebody is dead. Holding the recover button doesn't do anything, but at least I'm able to crawl. Thank you. Put me out of my misery. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Seems like I'm just hurting myself doing this. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Some kind of death machine I'm trapped in. Am I just perpetually stuck here? Because it's not even getting any better or any worse, and I'm just tapping A.
Well, none of that made much sense to me. I really thought I'd get a little bit more story than that. I mean, I understood that it was going to be a monster trying to chase us down. But even in Among Us, you at least have tasks to do around the ship. I thought I'd have something similar. You know, if we're on a farm trying to get the car started, hey, somebody needs to go find the car battery, somebody needs to go find the car keys, someone needs to get gas and fill up the tank, something. And, and maybe there are objectives that I just, I don't know to look for, but um, it really didn't help that that screen was so dark. I, I couldn't see anything at all. I don't see any kind of adjustment on that. Well, I wanted to try it. I guess the only thing else we could do is just jump into the killer, though uh, I don't know if that'll be much better because I won't know what I'm doing as that as the killer as well. But why not? Just for fun, we'll jump into it. I am, I am some kind of plant monster? I don't know what's going on. The good news is that the humans will have a chance with me having no idea what I'm doing. All I really picked up from that last one was that I need to try to stay alive. Or I may try to get the people who are trying to stay alive onto a device, but I'm going to guess that for every killer, maybe the devices are different. Maybe that spring trap thing that I was being loaded into was something unique to that monster of that map. I have no idea what this thing is. Oh, well, we're loading. I guess I'll play with my audio settings to see if I can make this screen any brighter. Okay. I'll up the contrast as well. You know, I don't need it to look like daytime, it would just be nice to be able to see. Well, I wanted to try around as the killer, but maybe that's what everyone wants to play as. It does say the hag. I guess that's what I am. And all I can really do is just cancel. Oh, okay, now I can at least look at something else. Again, very, very intricate. There's there's a lot to this game. But uh, I really wanted to just jump into it. This game is not one that is very user accessible from a, a blind jumping in perspective. It really tells you nothing and expects you to figure it out as you go. This is a couple of things I will say that I, I definitely like more in the Friday the 13th, more so than just this game. If nothing else, the familiarity with the concept. Not to mention when you start a lobby, you don't just pick if you want to be a person or if you want to play as the monster. It's kind of just rolls the dice and you might sometimes get Jason, you might sometimes not. With this one, I'm guessing if there's not a lot of people who want to play as, for instance, the villagers against the monster, I'm guessing this sort of situation can happen. And that's a little 
frustrating because if it was just jump in, it's a random pool, somebody gets picked, then you wouldn't have as much kind of stalled time like this. So, oh, I was going to have to call it, but maybe I'll get a chance after all. Well, I'm glad I get at least one attempt at playing as the monster. Though I was definitely at a handicap with the previous person. Not that it would have made much difference. This is definitely a type of game where you need to have co-op, or at least be incredibly familiar with the game if you're going to be playing blind with just strangers online. These noises I'm making, they're all gargly. Well, they got 10 seconds to finalize their layout. I know there's all kinds of unique abilities and perks and things. Like I said, the game definitely has a lot more to it, but unfortunately that's not very user-friendly for a new person jumping right in. So again, and this one's got the hooks thing like that last one did, so maybe that's just a mechanic that all of the killers have in this. And the other one, in the Friday the 13th, it was just try to escape via boat, via car, via something, or as Jason, just try to get rid of all of the counselors. So I'm guessing maybe they only die if you put them in the trap, because I was basically dead and on the ground, and I was able to recover enough to, to start crawling away. And then eventually I just got picked up and, and loaded into a trap machine, where I'm guessing I was basically just stalling for time, hoping that someone would come save me, but I think at that point there was nobody left alive and able to do so. So there's some basic mechanics I need to learn. It looks like what these imagers are trying to show me, though, is that I need to wound them, then I need to carry them, and then I need to upload them to a trap. So I'm guessing that's going to be consistent over any of the monsters that you're playing as. Okay, well, I'm a first-person perspective, which is a little different. And I can place a trap, which is kind of fun. Destruction! Well, I haven't come across anybody yet. Or if I have, I just didn't see them. It's funny, even with all that brightness cranked up, the in-game graphics are very, very, very dark. I didn't know if that was just going to be for the human, or not, but well, apparently the game is just designed to be very black. Ah, found somebody, and they're running. They're running, Morty. So that lets me know that I actually can run. Because I could not figure out how to run. Are they injured? I got a bloodlust. I don't even know what those traps are supposed to be doing. I hit somebody. <laughs> How do I pick him up? 
Alright, I got somebody. <laughs> Those grunting noises over my shoulder are kind of funny. Did he get away? I don't know how that happened, but okay. Guess he wibbled enough. Alright, I see somebody again. Well, okay. Obviously, it's more fun to be playing as the monster than it was as a survivor. If nothing else, just because my durability is a little better. Trap yourself. How'd you do that? I haven't successfully been able to take anybody down. I'm definitely not doing well. <laughs> I love that they just keep dropping crap in front of me. Though I will say this gives me a much better perspective on how you're supposed to be playing as a person, playing against people who actually know what they're doing. All them and then they were immediately just gone. she was doing. Yeah, I guess I can't go that way. Okay, well, I definitely learned a little bit more about the game from the perspective of playing as the villain, but man, it it's definitely trying to be dark, and I, I get that it wants to be create this atmosphere where it's hopeless and, and you can't see what you're doing, but even playing as the killer, uh, I, it was so so dark and so difficult to maintain visibility. I, I'm not sure if maybe you're just one of those games where you just have to crank the brightness all the way up, because even then I, I made some adjustments on the screen to make the game brighter, but then back in the map it's just, it's just miserable trying to see anything. So I can understand why if you got really into this game and really learn the mechanics and really learn the skills and really learn the abilities and you could really get a lot out of it. I understand where that comes from, but just from a presentation perspective, it might have just been particularly the maps I played weren't the best. That's also possible. But it was not a lot of fun to to experience. And, and that is too bad, because I've heard really positive things about this, but maybe it just need to get good. 
Anyways, guys, this was Dead by Daylight on the Xbox One. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.